Yeah. Mr. First, what have you got? First, first story in, thank you for giving me this, in the Daily Mail. So oh. the mood of oh, today's yes, yeah. Daily Mail would be... <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a postal fiasco could deny thousands their vote. Of course, a lot of people rely on postal voting, uh, the elderly, the infirm. Uh, forces serving yeah. overseas in Afghanistan. So they they yeah. rely on their postal vote. Um, and basically, with the combination of a bank holiday today... Um, well, and the bank also... holiday we have every year on the first Monday in May. Yeah. That surprise bank holiday that's caught us off guard, that yeah. one? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and the volcano. Oh, oh no, uh, no, now we're yeah, See what I did there? Okay. <laughs> see, I pull you in, I slap you down. <laughs> um, Okay. So, but uh, they've used in three paragraphs the word could, uh, could be robbed of their chance, could miss out, so, 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 could see, affect, see, 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 probably see. won't. How so. does a volcano affect postal votes? Well, these things are sent on aeroplanes, Matthew, and the ah. aeroplanes were affected by the volcano. <laughs> what? Um, All those aeroplanes flying above us, even now as we're talking, are affected by the volcano. Yes, the aeroplane they... that my beloved travelled back on yesterday was affected by the yeah, volcano. Right. But there's still a queue, there's still sacks of, of, ah. of, uh, of mail that's all going around oh, no, the world. No, they're not. They're using that for the BP oil slip. <laughs> of course they are, yeah. So it, it could, 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 probably won't. OK. Um, Good story. Steve, what have you got? Uh, the Daily Mail uh, is the first story. Mood, mood of the Daily Mail, Mood of the please? Daily Mail today is... Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, it's the, it's a, on page 20, it's about the, the attempted um, explos explosion in Times Square in New York. Uh, and it's about the person who was seen walking away by the CCTV footage. The man who footage. changed shirts. The man who changed shirts, which... Uh, but it says it's, uh, it's a man in his 40s and he's a balding white man. Um, I was at home at the time, <laughs> uh, and I tend not to change shirts during the day. Um, and uh, but they, they don't they, they're kind of clueless. They think it might be a lone wolf because of they've course they've ruled him the... out now. I heard today this morning on the news that they've ruled him out. Well, they, they're well, no longer they can... pursuing that line of inquiry. Well, th that's not what this says. I, don't, I you know I think it, the, it it's clutching at straws time, and I think when there isn't anyone taking responsibility. You're absolutely flummoxed as to why yeah. someone would want to do this. What about the, is it, you know the conspiracy the theory the we hinted at yesterday? That well, they, about the, cause it's outside the CIA Viacom. plot to make us all scared. Yeah. Uh, uh, they always do this. Yeah, but yeah. you know what he said on his statement? The, uh, the, the, the spokesperson for the American government said that there is no, there's no doubt in my mind that this was to kill Americans. Now, I've been to Times Square. I didn't see many Americans there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> OK, anything else? The second else? one is in the Daily Mail. That's today's mood of the Daily Mail is... <laughs> um, which weirdly doesn't sit well with this story. I don't like this story. It makes me kind of nervous. Um, it's about a doctor, Dr. David Southall, who um, had a uh, had something to say about the terrible case of um, Sally Clark and her uh, the death of her two children um, years ago, who died of cot death. But um, th there was a doctor involved in that case, the paediatrician. Uh, Roy Meadows. That's right. Who, struck off and then appealed. Who, yeah, who basically, yeah. you know, he basically said, well, you know, one, to die of cot death is terribly unfortunate, but two, that's a little bit suspicious. Yeah. And this doctor, um, I think, kind of sided with his fellow doctor. But this is about another case um, where a, a woman who's, unfortunately, her, her son had uh, committed suicide, was found hung um, in, in the living room. And uh, this doctor, Dr. David Southall, was the paediatrician and uh, he said that, uh, well, he was, he's now been acquitted of saying that it was her fault. Right. It's an awful story, but he's now back practising um, because the General Medical wrong, Council so, yeah, said yeah, that he yeah. has done nothing wrong. Um, but you do tend to think, no, well, no, no, you no, don't. You don't? No, you OK. Don't. Um... <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. OK. Um... <laughs> <laughs> He's I was going to say, you do tend to think that no, the next no, story no, in the yeah, sun yeah, yeah, okay, no. is one to really no. look forward to. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, well, where's my Daily Mail today? Huh? Where's uh, my Daily Mail today? Where's my mood of the mail? If you did have mood the, of the Daily mail, mail today... Is... Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Let it out, Steve. Let it out. It's good therapy, though, isn't it? It's worked for me. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is yes. good therapy. Right. 
Uh, after the break... Uh, the next story, this links in with your kind of ad break uh, buffer thing, which is about washing your hands when you have a difficult decision to make. Uh, historically, if, if someone had a difficult decision to make, Pontius Pilate yeah. with yeah, 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 Jesus yeah. or, or uh, of course, Lady Macbeth, whether to wash away the, uh, uh, with uh, um, Duncan's murder, that they've actually managed through scientific research um, to say that if you do wash your hands, <laughs> That you kind of admonish yourself of of uh, of kind of th that it's guilt a or thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 absolutely yeah. you say mm. was that a good decision or a bad, bad decision oh it's gone away I don't know should I have buried him under the patio or <laughs> in the tent oh it's gone away um, <laughs> and that was in the Daily Mail and the mood today of the Daily Mail is <laughs> <laughs> and the next one's in the Daily Mail. Um, it's, uh, a, 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 it's a terrible story, but, but, but also slightly amusing. Um, it's about a Croatian footballer um, who was 32 years old, and his team, or both teams, were told by the referee before kickoff uh, that he would be very, very heavy handed if uh, players play acted, if they kind of took a dive mm. and were rolling around the floor. Right anyway, this, this, uh, this one defender, um, Tunic, uh, did take a dive uh, and died. And, and he also got booked. <laughs> well, because the guy, they'd just sort of taken the dive. Yeah. And he was down, he got booked. Yeah. And then they found and, out he was and dead. Then, and then the medics were called and he was pronounced dead. And at that point, the referee went, ooh, ooh, OK. It was, I have to say that the game was called off, uh, but it was nil-nil, sadly, in case you wonder what the result okay. was. Um, was it still a game of two halves? Yep, yep, exactly. Good. Well, I don't think they're going to replay it. Over the moon, it. yada, yada, yada. <laughs> so, yes, that's that story. And that's <laughs> the end of the papers. For the week. Nicely done. After the break...